body work is finished. Final body work is finished. And the picture is uh, putting it in its final catalyzed primer where we will block it one more time. Let's see what that looks like. This is a very high solids primer surface here, which will be the last primer other than a little spot here that we'll be putting on the car. Let's put this on at the end of the day here. Okay, the body is in its final primer. This is the last blocking. Checking in for any scratches. Um, looks good. Okay, as you can see, this car has been blocked down. This was the uh, original of course, we had the DP sealer after the bodywork is done. Then we put the, that's the catalyzed. Then we put the catalyzed primer surfacer, and that's what's being sanded now. It's just about done. Beautiful. We don't care if we can see through it because it's going to actually get another coat of sealer, only it'll be reduced, and that's going to go on just before the color. And uh, you can see we've been working on it, getting it done. We just have a few places. Um, that have to be done by hand. Um, you know, really, we're just hours away from painting this, so uh, pretty excited about it. It's all looking good. We even took the it had a factory seam right here. It was an uneven seam where they welded it together on both sides. Well, I didn't like the seam. Uh, I ground it out and work that to where the seams are gone so I actually made it better than new. I didn't think anyone would uh, mind that because it really gives it that nice gloss without having something jump out at you. The biggest nightmare on this car is solved and that was in here making the soft fit. Now sure it's not, uh, it's probably honestly better than new. Um, it's good enough for me now and it hasn't been until now. I just wanted to show a couple of things on here. Firewall's done. Beautiful body lines with just a little bit of more uh, on here. I don't like this. I know it's a factory weld. I don't like it. I want that smooth. Doesn't take that much long to do things right. Um, I'm going to find these materials for the owner and we're going to go ahead and put them on the car. Yeah, I was actually told back in the day uh, in 1929 and before that if a uh, motor car was to hit a four-way street intersection it actually the owner had to actually stop way before the four-way get out walk up to the four-way and honk a handheld honk honk horn to warn any horses so the horses wouldn't be scared of the car coming down the road true story according to my grandpa and uh, we all love our grandpas.